Andy and this is Nina's Jewels. My husband and I buy things at garage sales, flea markets, thrift stores, just about anywhere we can find things to sell online and flip for a profit. If that's content you're interested in, you're in the right place. In today's video, we're going to be showing you how you can ship a single order to a buyer in multiple packages. I'm going to turn it over to my husband, Kevin, so he can show you exactly how to do that. Let's get started. Okay. So what we have today is a sub a Yamaha soundbar and subwoofer combo. So I had a box that I found where I would be able to put both items in the same package and ship them that way. The buyer is even in the same state as me, but the package is going to cost $42 to ship, which it, it, we, we wouldn't make any money at all at $42. So the way you can do it, and I've done this once before, uh, you just package both items in individual boxes, as you can see here, the sound bars in this handy dandy little tube, which is by the way, a great way to send sound bars. You can pack it really tight and it's got great protection. You don't have to find a weird box for it. If you don't, if you can get a hold of one of these, we have access to these because of our other business, our frame shop. So somebody had a giant poster or print or piece of art, probably a canvas that came in this. So that's where I, I went and grabbed this from today. Otherwise, we'd have to just go buy a box. Uh, and then just a handy dandy Amazon recycled box for the subwoofer. It's packed in there pretty good. Everything, I like everything to be very, very tight. And then you slap fragile stickers all over it and sometimes they're nice with it. And Kevin also reinforced that with extra yeah, cardboard. Yeah, put some extra cardboard in the subwoofer box on the uh, fabric side where the speaker is so that the fabric wouldn't get punctured. So. These two boxes, to ship the two boxes, it's, it's pretty much just as easy as shipping the one box. This is the subwoofer, and it is, should be 21 pounds, 14 ounces. So it's about 21, 15, it looks like. So I'm entering into eBay the, uh, the shipping dimensions so that I will be able to, I already measured it too. It's 22 by 16 by eight. 22, 16, eight. And now I'm going to get to see what the rates are. So if I was going to send this priority, which I wouldn't, it would be $20.86. But since I'm going to send it UPS or FedEx, whichever is cheaper, in this instance, it's UPS. And this is the nice part about the eBay system. I mean, they'll show you all the methods. So UPS ground for this one, see, like I said, these together were going to be $42 in one box. And it was an enormous box. It would have taken more packing than I might have more packing than I even have, but it would definitely take a ridiculous amount of packing. Yeah, and the and the box, the size of box that we would. Have I, been, I don't even know how I would yeah, carry it in my car. Yeah, we would have had to have so Franken box to something, or yeah. just found a ridiculous. No, I have I have a ridiculously yeah. large box that Amazon sent me something, and I don't even know what it was, but they probably sent us like some earplugs or something. Then yeah, probably did <laughs> send a, a tiny package of earplugs. All right, so this one UPS ground, this one will be sixteen for this little guy. Oh, so let me go ahead and get that off of there. 1607. So I'll go ahead and purchase the shipping label for this bad boy. All right. Coming out of our Dymo. Oh, which uh, ran out, of course. <laughs> right when we're doing the videos when it runs out. Oh, uh, no problem. We will take care of this and you guys won't know how long it takes and voila, we will have oh. it fixed. And it's just that easy. And we used our Dasher labels and our Dymo printer, and the links are available in our Amazon store, which is available in our description box below if you want to check that out. Okay, so I printed the first label already, so technically, you know, it's paid and shipped. Right. So all you need to do is go into your seller hub, go into paid and shipped. So this is to send a second box. To put the second label on the, on the second package. Yes. All right, so just go into, there's my sound bar. I go into my actions for my sound bar. Uh, purchase another label. There you go. It's just, that's it. It's that easy. It's just that easy. All right, and the other one I also have the dimensions already written on. It is, I'll double check it. 
eight pounds, 15 ounces. And it is 38 by five by five. All right. Doo -doo -doo. This one is actually more priority than the other one because of the length. Yeah. Just FYI. And ground, it's only $10.66. So see, total, this is going to end up being about $27, mm -hmm. which is not cheap. Right. But it was going to be $42. Yeah. So this saved 15 bucks this just by putting it in money. two packages and a lot of hassle. Yeah. Because that box was... Those are really hard to pack all in one big box. It feels very complicated when you're thinking about it ahead of time, but when you're in the end, it's not that complicated and it saves you a lot of money sometimes depending on the item. And after we get this done, we get the label printed and everything. We'll go the extra step of messaging the buyer and letting them know that we've sent it in two packages. So just so there's it, no yes. confusion. Just in case something happens and the item comes, one comes one day and the other comes the other day, they don't freak out. Yeah. And all done. That was it. It's that simple. The first time I had to do that, I was very confused, very stressed out. This time, now that I know how you do it, it's no problem. So just don't, don't be afraid. Yeah. Whatever there is on eBay, you can Google how to do it, which is how I did it the first time. Just Google the problem. Somebody has had that problem and somebody can fix it. Exactly. It's so easy. Yep, it's just that easy.